Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Bethany. And today's video is just going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. It's loosely based. I filmed this uh, video in my living room today. It's winter y'all, so it is a little gloomy. Um, I probably should have filmed this at the start earlier in the day, but I was still lounging and um, yeah <laughs> so i promise next video will be better quality um let me get, let me know below in the comments what you guys would like to see from me next um this is my everyday uh look for the last couple of months so i will uh yeah anyways like comment subscribe and um yeah let's get right into the video perfect for um in the house um it's light like i like it and skin like so i'm just going to stipple this in it has been so long since i have posted a video but um i like <laughs> and uh I'm just gonna come on here and do my makeup. I'm gonna with my Pat McGrath um, concealer in MD23. I'm gonna this out with my brush. So I've been really liking using brushes lately. Also, guys, so I am not really a um, a streamer TV person, someone who streams TV. I could say that better. Someone who streams TV. Um, I am more still of a traditional cable person. Um, so, anyways, what I've been looking at lately is the Handmaid's Style. Girl, uh, why is that so good? Why, like, I'm so late to the game. Don't judge me. I have been loving that. And I just saw today, I was like, I feel like it's one of those things where you've been watching it and Facebook is like clocking your every move because Today I saw that The Handmaid's Tale is coming back in 2021 for season four and five, I believe. Don't quote me, but I did see a, an ad about that and I was just super excited. You guys, I just, I just made it to season three. So I'm thinking that this is over, but I'm so glad that it's not because it's so good. I could go on and on and on and on and on about this topic but I will reserve my own opinions um yeah so now I'm going in I'm just going to blend out this concealer and um so yeah I've been watching that and I am enjoying it um I've also just been binge watching I'm someone who just likes to watch things that they've seen over and over again as well so it's really hard for me to watch new things Fenty Beauty, so. um and 332 Fenty Beauty concealer and three I'm sorry 330 not 332 330 and I'm um, just gonna highlight right there so we're almost at the end of the year I usually I typically have my goals planned out but I'm gonna be honest you guys I have no idea what I have no idea yet <laughs> what I what I'm envisioning for 2021 and I know people are like oh you sure I had that planned out but I just feel like I'm not <laughs> like I'm not looking forward to being in the house again or anything like that but I know that that's a possibility and that's what's safe um so I don't know if I'm just like this because my birthday's next month and I am really kind of like I wanted to take a trip 
thinking that this time <laughs> a year later that we would not be in a pandemic right now by my birthday and my birthday is in January at the end of January at that so I'm not thinking that we're going to still be in a pandemic and I want to I can't go abroad abroad you know what I'm saying I can't go too far but yeah I feel like one of those people who want to go to Cancun, Tulum, or just some Jamaica. At this point, I don't even really care. I just want to go somewhere tropical and I want to be able to not be where I'm at because I'm somewhere where we do get winters. I don't want to be in a cold for my birthday. How about that? And a place that I usually typically would go is still shut down. So I don't, I don't really want to be in the house. Um, and it's kind of bumming me out slightly that there's a possibility that we still may have to be. So if you guys have any ideas, any places in the U.S. that I that you're like, oh girl, this is a hidden gem. It'll make you feel like you're somewhere else. Let me know. It look, my base looks so good. Like I'm really getting into cream foundations. Really, really loving that as of lately. So that hourglass um, found stick foundation. It's new to me oh new to me oh to youtube but i love it so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes and i'm gonna use um the sasha buttercup um i love if you've been watching my makeup videos for a while you know i always use this um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to press it in first just kind of set that i don't i don't bake as much i just kind of set where I'm going, what what I'm doing, and then um, I uh, may put a little bit more down, depending, I like uh, use an extra powder that may be a little, that's a little slightly lighter than this, um, to kind of brighten up the undertones in my highlighting concealer. Yeah, so my birthday's next month, I don't know what I wanna do. And look, it's not even Christmas yet. I'm I'm filming ahead. I kind of I just wanted this to be a relaxed video, catch up with you guys, let you guys know what I've been up to, working, and you know I saw a post, I saw a meme on um, Instagram, and it was like, if making it to 2021 is all that you did, you're blessed. Facts number one, and that's good enough. Like that is good enough. Don't pressure yourself to feel like you had to accomplish or birth a business or anything like that. And if you did, good for you, congratulations. I myself too have taken trainings and stuff to expand my skills, my um, beautypreneur skills. Um, I've done that too. But if all you did <laughs> was make it this year, let that be enough for you. Let that motivate you and keep your hand in God's hand. <laughs> like I never thought I'd say something like that because I'm such a goal oriented person, but it is so true what they say. Your goals can change as you get older, your dreams can change as you get older, or they can just mature. You know, I don't feel like God puts a dream in your heart and, and not to get all, I'm not religious, but I'm very spiritual, but I don't feel like I would put a dream in your heart and without the intentions of making it come true, you know? Don't worry about the how. That is kind of what I've been on. Oh, I don't know if that's because I'm getting older, girl. But um, don't worry about the how. Just, just do, you know, just do. So I just set underneath my eyes with my setting powder, and I'm going to go in with my bronzer to add some more warmth into it. We're gonna use um, Fenty Beauty's cream and chocolate, cream bronzer and chocolate. So yeah, that's kind of just what I'm on now. I'm like, girl, mental health um, is the best thing. Um, yeah, so love on yourself a little more. There's so much going on in the world. Yeah, girl. By the way, oh, you guys, I am. I have been really trying to go like on spending fast, but it's so hard. I love makeup, obviously, and I love to shop. They have been, Christmas time, they have all the sales and I have been wanting to buy everything. I just bought more from the Skims collection, her fall and winter collection. 
I had uh, actually bought the short set um, back in the summer, but she finally freaking restocked it, guys. You know, um, my skins review did really good if you hadn't seen it yet. I just restocked it. I got a new color. I think it's just juniper or something like that. And um, I also got the burnt rust color. I had already had like the, the leggings to it. It's, oh, girl, if you don't know how to, I just got the top, the tank tops of this, just like this and the burnt orange. It, and yeah, I had to wait all those months just to wear these outfits. So I'm kind of like annoyed at that, but skims, I still stand by my review. It is a really good um, loungewear. So if you haven't got into it, I'm, I'm really wanting to try out her bodysuits too. I'm such a staple girl basic staple girl you guys are just getting to know everything and with um the powdered bronzer Ooh, what was that girl what was that and um coconutty girl i love this and i'm gonna use her uh cheek hugging brush i'm sorry bronzer one in um, bronzer brush in one night so but like like i said this is a really lax video i know this isn't what you guys expected but i am lounging in the house obviously so um only appropriate I wear my skins and um, I love it I'm not gonna have dinner and light makeup but it's still day night so you kind of want to um keep it spicy girl keep that shit spicy um not just that um do it for you too do it for yourself um, I feel like I haven't worn makeup makeup in a long time and I'm not even somebody who says stuff like that I guess we could call this like my everyday look um, because this is what I do every day. Um, and I'm gonna just take this uh, reddish brown color, it's called Copper, um, in a quad that I made from MAC. This is, I love, this. sometimes I used to just wear this color. This is like my first color. Um, this is perfect for every, every day, but I put this in my crease. This is the only color I have. So if you're starting out wearing eyeshadow, just use your bronze. Okay, so I'm gonna take credit from Jackie Honest palette. Just gonna take a little bit on my blending brush, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corners and blend into the crease. Just want to I hate when I do that. Don't you guys hate when you guys do that? Just keep blending. Earrings. What is a bun without gold hoop earrings? Um, so I'm gonna try. Um, I'm using this format blush. This is new. It's a frost blush by Matt, and I'm just going to stipple that on to the highest most parts of my face. It really does does do. <laughs> it really does something. It is so pretty. What I'm gonna do next is just set my face, and I'm going to be using um, dark tan by my. Oh, it's new. I'm gonna be using dark tan and this Morphe brush in M581. I'm just going to set all of this. I love my face. Where? Right. This bad girl bang. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. I'm trying out this new Huda Beauty 3D highlighting palette. So this is her bronze sands collection. I really like this. Look at this. I feel like this is so pretty. The color I really am looking at is this, but this red color, all these colors are really cute though. So the color I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do Barbados. I'm gonna do a little bit of Barbados, a little bit of these, and I'm um, just going to, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go in with um, Max Quark Liner. I'm 
going to take this MAC Lip Gloss and I'm going to use, and the color shade is Bow. So this is after I did my liner and I'm going to take this lip glass in the centers like this. Lip glosses are still supreme, still top of the line for me for lip glosses. I'm gonna take my What It What It Do Miss by Fenty Beauty. My saturation mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay everyone, so this is the final look. so much for watching.